inflate a balloon leaving a 7 inch flat tail. Twist the first soft 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. It is the head of the ant. Twist the second 1 inch bubble. Twist the third soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. Twist the fourth 2 inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the sixth 6 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the sixth bubble in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is the seventh bubble. Use scissors or just your hands to cut off the seventh bubble. Tie off the end of the balloon. Our end doesn't have a legs yet. We are going to use the part of the balloon that we cut off to make the first pair of legs. Don't make any bubbles. Just uh, fill the balloon with air. Tie off the end. Make sure the air not escaped from the balloon while we are making a knot. We will use this part to make two legs. Use the second balloon to make two more pairs of legs. Once again, don't make any bubbles. Just fill the balloon slightly with the air. If you made a bubble, you will have to deflate it. And only then you can tie off the balloon. Keep the air inside of the balloon uh, while you are making the knot. Ok, now we have to split this balloon on two parts. Fold the balloon in half to find the middle of the balloon. That is where we make a knot. Then we can make another knot right next to it. Oops. Okay. Um, just leave little space between these two knots. We need this little space uh, to cut the balloon in half. Make sure the air doesn't escape uh, through the knot. And the both sides of the balloon approximately of the same size. Use scissors to cut the balloon between the knots that you made. Now we have three pairs of legs. Now we just have to attach the legs to the body. We will do one pair of legs at a time. For the middle part of first pair of legs, between the second and the third bubble of the body, you may drop it a couple times around the balloon. Fix the 
front legs pointing in the same direction with the ant's head. Attach the second pair of legs between the third and the fourth bubble of the body. Alright, there is a front view, the bottom view and the side view. Attach the uh, third pair of legs between the fourth and the fifth bubble of the body. Fix all bubbles and the legs in uh, proper positions. Here is the bottom view, the side view and here is the front view. Use a permanent marker to draw the face of the hand. Eyes, one nose, and of course, big smile. All right, congratulations! We have made the end. Here's the top view, the side view, the bottom view, and this end actually can stand his legs. Have fun and happy twisting!